your grace and esteemed clergy brothers and friends and family. You know, most of us when we come to church, at least to me, we relate to the stories and the parables that are heard in the Gospels. They're powerful lessons with a profound message that Christ taught, Christ taught himself, giving analogies and stories and images that we can really capture, capture the moment. And for the faithful at St. Barbara that are here and that live closely with my brother and my sister-in-law, you not only heard parables, uh, but you actually lived one. And for that matter, we all did for the past 20 years. John's Peter, John Peter's life was a lesson, a parable of defiant and bold love. It was a story about unconditional love and a love against odds. It was a story of faith unyielding and never wavering. It was a story of perseverance, consistency, courage, strength, day in and day out. It was also a story with a beginning and now an end. But having reached the last paragraph and the final sentence, we cannot mourn its completion. But rather we rejoice and celebrate. Because when you're done with something like a story, you're able to tell it. You're able to now share it with the world. For us, we have this story. And we've got some great lessons that we've learned. The key people in the parable, of course, as Dan said, John Peter, Vanjie, and Father Peter. And together this family began their journey 20 years ago. The travels took them to mountains and the lowest valleys. They spent significant time in what we'll call tough terrain, with many obstacles thrown in their path. Yet along this journey, with each day that passed, a funny thing happened. They grew closer and closer together. Their love grew deeper and more profound. I'm sure each of them got tired in their own way. There were times when they had to carry their son. And there were times when John Peter carried them. There were brief moments when others would come and help. Family, friends, the wonderful, wonderful parishioners here, the therapists, even Matlock. The dog. What was the other one? Oh, scooter. Scooter. I'm blessing him. <laughs> each, each of these significant uh, individuals providing respite and encouragement, helping Banji and Father Peter and John Peter continue on their journey with boldness and defiant love. Each day began with optimism, hope, and prayer, and each moment was a gift. Because of that, I believe John Peter just did not have a life, but he had a life lived to his fullest. Now most of us, especially those with families, ought to have watched closely this parable. And when we came to church, when we were interacting with this family and had the opportunity, we should have recognized that, that as they were ministering to you, they did not go off the clock when they went home. They had a journey that continued. But it was a beautiful love story. And if we have, then we could have clearly seen the powerful message of this parable. We could see that as families, as people, as individuals, we must learn to believe in each other, to accept the challenges of the day together, to rejoice in all things, to give thanks to the Lord for the good, the bad, the valleys and the mountains. And most importantly, to pray for a defiant, bold love one that conquers and sustains all things. So this past Saturday morning, our phone rang. Our phone rang early and we knew something was wrong. Almost in the same breath that they informed us of his passing, in the same breath, the celebration of John's Peter, John Peter's life began with Father Peter and Banji telling us how our dear nephew suddenly left this world. Vanjie, there are two images of the Panagia. There are two images of the Panagia that are very powerful to me. The one is the icon of the Glicophilusa, 
where the Virgin Mary is holding her child. And the second is the Apocathilosis, where the Virgin Mary is again embracing her son as an adult. As he is being taken down from the cross. I remember you, Manji, holding John Peter as a baby, and for that matter, many times throughout his life. And even though I cried at the shock of our loss, I rejoiced greatly when I heard that his last breath on earth was taken in your arms with my brother by your side. The image of you holding in Banji for me as a child and as a young man. Exactly. Like the Panagia holding our Lord in the beginning and the end of his earthly life. What a wonderful blessing from God. But even in that last tender moment on earth, his story was not complete. John Peter's parable did not end that way. That was not the final sentence. You see, my brother, in describing his death, said to me, George, it was like an angel came down and took his soul. So, yes, Father Peter and Benji, from his parents' arms to the embrace of an angel to the bosom of Abraham. And God be Samaramana Babsin. Except for one difference. As John Peter Yakobos, or Fernandos, transitioned to celestial altars, I do not believe he was carried this time. He stood up proud and tall. He dusted himself off from the journey. He smiled, he sang praises to our Lord. And I bet for anything, he did not walk, but he ran full speed. Full speed into our Lord's loving embrace, who gave him the crown of eternal glory that had been prepared especially for him. May his memory be eternal.